really oh. goes, doesn't it? Yeah, that's neat. Yeah. How'd you make it? Well, as you saw, it was made out of a paper plate, uh, and you can make three or four of them, put various designs on them. In fact, let's stop that for a minute so you can see. Here is what you need. Have you got this at home? Yes. What is it? Paper plate, pencil, grommet, spool, and another grommet. All right. That's all you need. In fact, let me start it for you. Uh, take the spool, put it on the pencil. No, just take the spool oh. up and put it on the pencil. Because I put a hole through the three or four paper plates and it's kind of tough to get through, so let me do it for you. Okay. There, okay. Now put the other grommet on the bottom. Okay. Very yeah. good. Now remember, there's three or four paper plates, okay? And when you spin it, if you're going to do it at home, you should put a newspaper or paper down here or something because you're going to make a mark with the pencil. Okay, give your yours a spin. Aha! Wobbles just a little bit because yeah. I was a little off center, but it's kind of a nice effect. Now, why does it spin like that? Well, because the weight, the paper plate puts more weight on the bottom, so it doesn't flop around. Well, you notice the paper plate is upside down, yeah. trying to get weight down below. That's one of the things. Another thing is illustrated by this. I've been on a ride like that. Yeah, you've seen something like this at the, at the rides, haven't you? Went, and they spin it. So put one hand up here and give it a spin down below. Watch what happens to all the little yellow circles. Besides almost hitting you in the face, what are they doing? <laughs> Well, they're turning around. Yeah. In fact, think of it this way. Each one would like to continue on a straight line, but they can't because they're held by this ribbon. So each one is pulling out in that, you know, in an opposite direction. So that's what gives it stability, because each one is pulling in a different direction like that. That's one of the effects. The other effect is a gyroscopic effect. Have you ever played with a gyroscope? Mm, yeah. Yeah? Well, you know how you spin them and they sort of stay, uh, stay suspended? Here's a gyroscope made out of a record. So here, put your finger in there, okay. Now I'm going to give it a, uh, a, a push, but not spin it, don't just, I'm just gonna give it a push, and you watch what happens. See how it flops around? Yeah. Okay, now I'll give it a spin, and you, you wave it back and forth like a pendulum. Oh yeah, that's neat. Yeah. See how it stays in the same plane? Yeah, that's because of the gyroscopic effect. Wait, I'll give it another spin. See if you can swing it all around your head, okay? okay? Great. Okay, so those two effects, the centrifugal force and the gyroscopic effect is what makes a top work. And do you think you can make now one of your own, on your own? What do you yes. need? You need a pencil, paper plate, spool, Grommet. And you can use rubber bands in place of that, yeah. okay? Then put a piece of paper down on the table. Go ahead, give it a spin. You're a good spinner. Uh, thank you. 